everybody, this is Pat from TCG Source, and today I want to talk about some of the new extra deck cards uh, coming out for the uh, OC from the OCG, and um, these cards I'm not really interested in, it's just a bunch of support for uh, new archetypes and already existing archetypes, um, they're pretty good, I'm personally keeping my eye out for the uh, Magiceptors, they look pretty cool, and uh, I think they have some potential to be good. So let's go ahead and start off with um, this card, uh, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. Uh, it's an Odd Eyes monster and one Pendulum monster. It's very easy to get out with the Odd Eyes fusion. Uh, so once per turn, basically I'm just going to run through those effects uh, real quick. Uh, when it's special summon, target one attack vision monster your opponent controls, return to the hand. Free compulse, uh, basically when it's special summon, which is really good in itself. But with a good Pendulum deck that puts a lot of Pendulum monsters in um, the extra deck, you have uh, basically this. Um, during either player's turn, when another monster... Uh, effect or a spell trap card is activated. You can shuffle one face up Pendulum Monster oh, excuse me. in your extra deck, uh, in your extra deck into the deck. And if you do negate the activation, if you do destroy, destroy that card. It the wording's weird on Dev Pro. I don't know why it says it. And if you do that, destroy it. And if you do that, destroy it. Okay, never mind. I read it wrong. Um. You can only uh, use each effect of Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon once per turn. So, pretty awesome card. Uh, it has a lot of good utility, especially since it's pretty darn easy to get it out now with Odd Eyes Fusion. Um, let's go ahead and bring out this guy here, Mass Hero Blast. This card can be good in a way. Um, so, only special summon by Mass Change. Uh, target one face up, monster your opponent controls, have its attack. And then once per turn during either player's turn, you can pay 500 life points to target one spell or trap card on the field and return to the hand. Now that's either. Now you can use that effect um, basically like if your opponent's trying to MST something you have, just return to the hand. Um, if you don't want it destroyed, like Yu-Gi-Oh plays a lot with life points anyway. I don't see that uh, 500 life points being that big of a deal. Um, I mean, the Klees use 800 life points to search out cards anyway. And not that it necessarily is the best effect for 500 life points. But it's still pretty darn decent. And Master Heroes don't necessarily have this in their arsenal. And uh, it's a win type. So you never know. Um, maybe Konami's hinting at a Stratos unbanned for the next ban list. Which would be pretty cool. Um, because it, again, it is a wind type, and, uh, it kind of does have the same effect as Stratos, besides the searching, with the, uh, destroying, uh, well, Stratos destroys spell or trap cards, this one just kind of returns to hand for the cost of life points, but we'll see how that goes. And then, this was the card I really wanted to talk about, Elder Entity, which is a very good, uh, beatboxing card. So it's uh, one Synchro Monster and one Exceeds Monster. Now the cool thing about this card is that, um, well, you have to have one of each, so you have to be running a Synchro and an Exceeds deck. But um, must be special from them from the extra deck, so you can't, uh, can't like, you know. But, uh, and you contact use it, basically, so it uh, can't be special some by other ways, so you can't bring it back from the graveyard. Uh, once per turn, you can special some one level four uh, monster from your hand. So it's really good in uh, level 4 decks. Anything that plays level 4s, um, it's really good in that aspect, but it's very specific in that uh, condition. And if this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you can target one card in the field and destroy it. You can only special summon one of them, uh, uh, one per turn. Uh, this card is really, really good in my opinion. I feel like this card has a lot of potential to be good and be used a lot. Um, especially since, you know, if it's gone, you still get a plus off. You still get to destroy a card in the field. But uh, also you get a, basically this is not just a one-time thing, you get to special summon a level 4 uh, from your hand uh, once per turn, which is really, really awesome. So regardless, um, it, it may be a specific effect, but if you're running like a, a rank 4 or level 4 deck um, with a lot of like utility to be able to use stuff like that. Dude, I don't know why I'm yawning, I woke up like 2 hours ago. Um, yeah, it has a lot of potential to be good, I feel like um, it can be used, um... It's no Elder Entity Noden, uh, Norden, but it definitely is uh, an interesting card, and we definitely can see if it sees a little bit of play in the TCG or not, uh, or in the OCG. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And uh, remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more videos here at TCG Source. Go ahead and give us a like on Facebook as well to check out all of our stuff from there and uh, to basically see what we're posting and what we're doing. Um, but I want to thank you guys again so much for watching, and you all stay lucky. Bye-bye.
Got me you. Got, 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 got me you. Got, 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 got